Fisher don't drag him overboard. He might grow up to be a great fisherman. Uh, just like he's a pop, the best fisherman in San Francisco.
trouble. Maybe you better take the wheel, huh? Sure. If this is so much of trouble to you, Tony, I take you the wheel. Say, who do you think you're kidding? smart, I don't have to go to school. You know, Pop, you're a swell guy. Yeah, I know. Say, why do you say that? Gee, Remo and Gigi and the rest of the gang, boy, they don't get to go along with their dads. You know why I bring you along? You're a big help to me. Ah, oh, you know what I mean. Bucks. You guys are lucky you're working with Carlo. This certainly been a swell season for you. Yeah, but not so good like the last. Okay. You've had five in a row. 
I bet you got plenty socked away. Don't worry, I got enough to take care of Tony and me. Come on, Julius. There. Come on, Julius. Come on, boy. Come on, 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 these shrimp taste so good, I almost feel like a pain for him, huh? <laughs> well, uh, goodbye, uh, Carlos, Tony. I got a point to make. Uh, no, 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 no. You're gonna come home and have dinner with us. It's to put a big appointment, you know. And besides, you don't get tired to have me for dinner every night. Well, for, for me, yes. yes. But, but for, for Angelina, Angelina, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Angelina, give a bebo some more spaghetti. Maybe just one more little string, yeah? <laughs> good, that's very good. <laughs> one string. <laughs> Why well, you not take the bowl? <laughs> <laughs> She's a good cook. <laughs> you know, Beppo, it's only one way I would give up such a fine housekeeper like Angelina. Carlo, for 20 years I asked her to marry me, and for 20 years I will fight her. Thank you, Tony. Hey. Why don't you ask her once more? Angelina. <laughs> The soap tonight, she was a first class. Tonight? What's the matter? Last night she was no good? No. Who told you? Last night she was she was a first class, too. <laughs> Your appetite, she's first class all the time. I got a right to, to eat, you know? I work hard all day long. I catch one fish, 300 pounds. Madre mia, this man, he no can tell the truth. Ah, you call him a liar. Eh? Pretty soon I call you plenty more things. You see, she called me a liar. Ah, she kid you. She love you. Yeah, that's more. Carlo, for 20 years I'm already to say, Angelina mia, sweet like a dove. Marry me. And what happened? I said this and she said that. I say yes and she says no. I tell her the truth and what happened? I call you liar. See? <laughs> and then you ask me why I don't marry her. Eddie Biden, le donne sono sempre così. Carlo Roma live here? Sure, it's my father. Sixty cents, collect. Uh, in la moneta. No, take the telegram, she's a bad log. Yeah. Bad news? No. Good news. What's it say, Pop? Hey, Tony. You never see your Aunt Stella, huh? Aunt Stella? Yeah, that's your mama's sister. No, Dad, why? Well, uh, she's been having a pretty tough time over there in Seattle since the husband had died. She has some pretty hard coming down. She lose all of the money. So I was thinking maybe uh, it would be nice to have her and her son come down and stay here for a while, huh? Oh, sure, Dad. Yeah, I think if your mama was alive, she'd like it to be good for them, huh? Say, it's going to be great to have your cousin come and stay with you, huh? Swell. <laughs> How old is he? Well, he got the same age about what you got. Great. And, and I'll get him right in with the gang. When's he coming? Well, the telegram, you say, arrive at San Francisco tomorrow, Pier 68. Oh, 
<laughs> Rudolph, this is your Uncle Carlos. That's a wonderful. I don't see him since he was a no bigger than a little fish of raviola. <laughs> Come on, boys, take a hold. Carlo, it takes my breath away. Uh, look, boy, look, that's, that's my sister-in-law. <laughs> Maria, Maria, that's my sister-in-law. Maybe I'd better wash him up a little bit. Well, Stella, how you like him, eh? <laughs> I'm sure we're going to be quite comfortable. And Stella? This is Julius. <laughs> and wash yourself. Come on, come on. Oh, but Pop, Julius will be insulted. No, I think Julius, he understand. You know, the seals, <laughs> they don't like everybody. Huh? At the same way, everybody don't like the seals. Okay, Pop. Go on out, Julius. <laughs> hey, you go show Rodolfo where you're going to sleep, eh? <laughs> great deal, Carlo. My debts and all. It was good of you to help us. And the boat fare. Oh, that's all right. I can afford them. I know. But it was kind of you anyway. Ah, can't see that. I've made every sacrifice. I've done everything to bring Rudolph up as a gentleman. Yeah, look like you do a first class A number one job, all right. Tony seems like a nice boy, too. Oh, he's a finer boy. <laughs> He'll make a little trouble sometime, maybe. But the kid don't make it the trouble, eh? He don't got what you call it, the pips, eh? Of course not. <laughs> You've been awfully good to him, Carlo. Thank you. Have you told him? No, why should I tell him? He thinks I'm the best pop in the whole world. And I want to be the best of pop, just because he thinks so, eh? Tony and me were just like he was my own flesh and blood. Yes, but... Hey, Rodolfo, he don't know. Eh? Oh, of course not. But you don't think he'd say anything if he did. Maybe no, but I guess it's better that way. Here, I'll focus it for you. There. You know what that bridge is over there? Well, that's Golden the... Gate Bridge. So I want to come in. Oh. Well, do you know what that is? That's that... Treasure Island. The San Francisco Exposition. And right there is Alcatraz. That's where they keep the tough guys. You're pretty smart, ain't you? Hey, great. Great. <coughs> How much is two and two? Four. Four and four. Eight. What's Mickey Mouse, a dog or a cat? A cat. Uh-uh. A rat. <laughs> Come on, they take some more, some wine. Come on, Rodolfo, we'll take some too. Yeah. Oh, just a few friends go. A little music, a little vino, lots of fun, eh? Sometimes they come here, sometimes uh, I go there. It's all the same thing, eh? Yeah. Hey!
mouse, a cat or a rat? Why, dear, Mickey Mouse is a mouse, of course. Why do you ask? Something's wrong. Ding, ding, Mary, This San Francisco, she never see another fisherman great like me. Someday later, my son be greater. My Angelina no one to me for 20 years, she's a nursery. No way to lady, until I made it. in the net, but he no catch her. This the one that you fetch her. If you don't like me, you tell me. No, I don't like you. Mary, 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 Mary. I'm afraid I don't know how to do it. Uh, your boy, he sing? No. But you recite, don't you, dear? <laughs> So maybe she go out to four or five miles, come back. Hey, that's what it's important, that she come back. Sure, there he is. Didn't I tell you? Looks like a dude. Let's find out. Kind of smelly, ain't she? This boat? She no smell all right to you? She smells kind of fishy. Well, the next time you come on board, we we'll sprinkle out a little perfume. Hiya, Tony. Hiya, Tony. Hiya, gang. Let's meet your cousin. Sure. Meet the gang. Come on up. Let's go. Fresh sugar. Hey, are you in? In what? The gang. Come on. We'll show you. Yeah, let's go. Come on. I don't think you can take it. We are. First thing you gotta do is walk the plank to the end. And then we'll tell you what's next. Doc, what do you think I am? Kid stuff. Oh, come on, Rudolph. We all did it. Well, let me see you do it first. Sure. for 30 years. I, I never caught a fish like this before. <laughs> Jacks. <laughs> hey, Rudolph, want to play Jacks? <laughs> oh, he'll be all right, fellas. Maybe 
maybe he's homesick or something. <laughs> Chinese boy. Isn't he cute? You speak English, little boy? Sure, don't you? Oh. <laughs> I only have a dollar. It's okay, I have some change. Oh. Ah, nothing. Oh, tell me what happened. Well, oh, they pushed me overboard. Who did? Tony. Oh, what has Tony got against you? How should I know? Oh, how can you talk to Mother like that? And why do you ask so many questions? Because I want to help you, darling. Mother's miserable when you're in trouble. Then tell Tony to lay off of me. You just leave Tony to me. You know, dear, you've just as much right in this house as he has. Things are going to be different around here. Always goes on the left, Angelina. I don't understand why it's always go on the left. Carlo and Tony and you two, we always pick them up with the right hand. It's more polite this way. I've been telling you that for three weeks. All I say is, pretty soon the fork, she's in the mouth, full up with spaghetti. So what's the difference, left side or right side? Napkin in front, cup on the sauce, knife on the right. And soon I put a knife in the back. You're just sore, because my mother said you oughtn't to go out on that boat in the rain. I don't see what kick you get out of that anyway. Hanging around all day catching fish. 
Vic. Who's asking you? Why don't you mind your own business? Learn your poem like you're supposed to. When you've seen one fish, you've seen them all. Oh, what do you know about fishing? That tune, it's getting on my nerves. Cut it out, will you? Note by heart, dear. I want you to recite it tonight for Uncle Carlo. How do you expect me to know it when Tony's all the time singing and interrupting me? How can a guy study that way? Tony, dear, you know, we mustn't be selfish. It's only a little thing, Tony, but you don't understand how it's those little things that get on one's nerves. How would you like it if you were intent on what you were doing and someone was rude enough to distract you by singing and whistling? It isn't very pleasant, is it, dear? La cosa! I just to say, how's everything to Angelina the night go, eh? Hey, come on, come on. Hey, hey, say, have a peppermint, go on. Come on, eat to that. And you better wipe off your boots, too, because it's gonna get a new rug. Oh, I would take them off for my new rug. Oh, no, I got a, I got a hole in my sock. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Hello, everybody! Hey. 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 Hello, Carlo. Can I help you off with your boots? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Hello, Angelina. It's a good evening. Angelina Bella. <laughs> I bring you all your friends, eh? <laughs> Pretty fresh guys around here. Ah. Keep going, Sam. <laughs> well, goodbye, everybody. I got a point of it. No, 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 no. You're gonna stay and have a dinner with us. But it's a pretty big appointment, you know. And anyway, you don't get tired to have me here for dinner every night. For oh, me? Yes. yes. Oh, I'm so sorry, Beppo. But if you have an appointment, then you must have dinner with us sometime soon. Thank you very much. Oh, no, Beppo, you gotta stay. Ah, Beppo, come and stay. I'm gonna go. No, I gotta go. Oh, I gotta go downtown. Hey, Beppo, you wait. I don't want you to go. <laughs> Thank you very much. Beppo, now see what you did. Do you think I offended Beppo? That's a little game we always have played. That's too bad you don't understand. <laughs> oh, Carlo, I'm trying so hard to fit in with your life. Stella, don't, don't say that. You're feeling fine. Everything is wonderful. One spoon of butter. Two spoon of cheese. One little pinch of salt. Madre mia, I'll give that woman one pinch someplace, sometime. Six hundred years, my family make the finest, longest spaghetti in Rome. Now I gotta cut them up short like they do in Boston. What do they know about spaghetti in Boston anyway? Where is this Boston? Ah, that here to the spot, huh? <laughs> Have another piece, Carlo. You think I should? Eh? Why not? I don't know, I'm getting pretty fat. Then. I weigh five pounds more than I ever weighed before in my whole life. But I gotta hand them up to you. You make a good pie. It's my special recipe. From the left, please. Tony, dear. What are you doing? Nothing. Hey, Julius. Cut that out. Oh, Tony, this is terrible. Look at the rug. Tony, I thought I told her to keep it that seal outside. But, Daddy, you, you didn't say all the time. Oh, Tony, I'm trying so hard to keep the place neat and clean. Uh, Estella is right. A house with a rug is no place for a seal with the perspirations. Oh, gee, Pop. Go on. 
Take him outside. Go on. Oh, you dirty snitch. Come on, Julius. Come on, Julius. Here, boy. Come here. Come on, Julius. Come on. What's the matter, Tony? Oh, nothing. Oh, yeah. Something in getting you down. Come on. Tell you, Pop. You're gonna get along with this Rudolfo, huh? No, Dad. You tell your gang so they don't want to play with him? Well, it ain't my fault they don't like him. Well, he's all right. He's a little bit different, but uh, well, he's a smart kid. I'll say he's smart. Hey, when I write you Aunt Stella and I told you they was going to come to stay with us, you was very glad, and I liked you for that. Now they're here. Why can't you be friends? They're nice people, ain't they? Ain't they? How much longer are they going to stay? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a month, eh? maybe more. But you said that when they came, and they've been here nearly a month already. I don't like that. That's not a nice. You and Stella's doing everything to make us happy, ain't you? I guess so. Then why can't you be friends with Rodolfo? <laughs> you kids are funny. One minute see you fight, the next minute see you friends. I try to be friends with him, Dad. Then you try once more, huh? Come on, Adol. Be a good boy, yeah? All right, Dad. Sure, I'll try. That's Some rest, huh, Pop? Hey, sure. Good morning, Angelina. Good morning. I'll take it in for you. Que patienza. I light the stove. I make the breakfast. Just at the last minute, she take the tree. Oh, Stella Mia, what's the matter? You don't have to get up so early to make my breakfast. Oh, I don't mind, Carlo, really. I want to make sure your breakfast is right. Yeah, yeah but you're here for the vacation. Four o'clock is too early. Four o'clock is too early. Well, four o'clock is too early for Stella. She's different. She don't know the fisherman's life. That's it, avec a balena, balletando. Say, this breakfast is wonderful. You're gonna spoil me for sure. <laughs> oh, thank you, Carlo. I feel great. Today, I'm gonna catch every fish in the ocean. But, Carlo, you work so hard. That's all right. You all gotta work hard. You wouldn't have to work so hard if you were sensible. What do you mean, sensibles? Does it ever occur to you that you own three boats? Huh? Oh, sure. They belong to my pop. And good boats, too. They're your boats, you know, Carlo. Don't you ever feel that Beppo and the other men should work for you? Oh, they work for me. I tell them what to do. Yes, Carlo, you tell them what to do. The boats belong to you. Yet you all share alike. That's another reason why you ought to be the boss. Hey, one minute. How is this going to work out for Beppo, Pietro, and Luigi? Well, you pay them a salary every week, and you keep the rest. Got a hunch we're going to break all records. 
this was a catch today, Dad. Huh? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Hello, Beppo. Hey, I'm ready to let's go. No, no, no. No, no, wait a minute. Petra, Luigi, come up here. What's the matter? Hey, adios, Pagawa. We're losing the best of plays. Now, listen, aboard. I just to find out we do this fishing business all around. What's the matter? I guess the chance. Yeah, spit the moment. Spit the moment. The way you catch them up with the fish is all right. It could be better, maybe, but uh, what I mean is, uh, uh, we gotta have the boss. <laughs> we got a boss. <laughs> sure. Everybody's his own boss. Sure. sure. Everybody works for himself. Sure. Mm. We got four bosses. Hey, hey, that's the trouble. We got a more boss and you got a fish in the ocean. I tell you, boys, we gotta have just the one lonely boss. Uh, that's right. a good. I be boss on Monday, a Carla, you be boss on Tuesday, and therefore you. That's good. Come on, let's no, 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 moment. That's a no good. We gotta have the same one boss every day. Well, who's gonna be the boss? It's gonna be me. But why are you, Carl? Well, I own the three boats. Oh, yeah? Well, they belong to my papa, no? The same way they belong to me. Hey, what kind of talk is that? The boat belong to your papa, all right, a long time ago. But I put in a new deck. I put in no more. I put in a whole new boat. Sure, that's all right. Hey, I own just as much as you, the Caranina. Such ignorance, stupid people. I don't want to push you out from the boat, but from now on, instead, we spill them up with the catch. I'm going to pay you the salaries every week, only i going to be the boss. So, sure, we do all the work and you keep all the money. But not the boss. boss, he's crazy. One moment, Mr. Beppo, that's no way to talk to the boss. You started to work today, I pay you the salaries. That be, we're going to build our own boat. You keep the Caranina all with yourself. Now, wait a minute, Beppo. You want us to get off your boat, no? No, I don't say that. But you mean that? No, I... Uh, I go and fish by myself. <laughs> Before I go away, I'm going to take off the deck I put in. Yeah, it's a bad And I remember now, it's on my wheel. Stop, stop. I am saying. Hey, look at my gun. 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 Look at my
I'll ask you to stay out of our family affairs and look after your work. Is that so? And keep out of things you don't understand. There's plenty things I understand in this house pretty well. Pretty well. If you're not too busy prying, Angelina, perhaps you'll serve the breakfast now. <laughs> On the left, please, Angelina. Excuse me. That's right. I always forget to serve it up right. You gotta serve it on the left. Oh, 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 I, I come back and see you sometime, eh? Take another piece, Carlo. You no get fat. It's good for you. It's my special um, recipe. But who baked that pie anyway? I've been cooking in that house 15 years, and she uh, wanna tell me how to bake. Angelina. That's right, Angelina. You may clear away the things, but you may leave the coffee. Angelina no catch on very fast. Mm. Mm. And what did the Carlo say? Mm, he no say nothing. She's got him twist around her little finger like that. All right. Now settle us everything. We get a married right away. Beppo Perugini, you're crazy. Maybe so, but I got everything fixed. You remember the last time we talked, I go down to Seriola for the marriage license? Mm, yes, and then you come back home and fight and insult me. What? That was your fault. No, no, that's Angelina, not that Angelina, don't come and come on. Angelina, please, for just once, we not fight, huh? Look, if we no use the marriage license right away, she's no good no more. She's a big cancer. I no can get married. Well, why? I got an old trussy. Who is a trussy? You see, you no understand nothing. The bride, she's got to have a pretty things. Angelina, please, you got a wedding dress. What's a belong to you, Grandma? For 20 years, you take them out of the moth of ballers and you put them back again. Pretty soon, you have no more dress. I bet you right now the moth of ball has hit them all up. How much you want to bet? Bravo! Uh, Angeli! Uh, I give it the priest. I give it the whole life, fix everything. <laughs>
making a dog collar for yourself. Well, if it's for that seal of yours, you'd better use it right away. Because Mom don't want it hanging around. Not even in the backyard. You keep your nose out of my business. You made enough trouble between my father and me already. Why don't you and your mother get wise to yourselves and, and pack up and go home? Get wise to your own self, dummy. We're here to stay. You ought to know by now we don't want you. You don't belong here. <laughs> From what I know, we got just as much right here as you have. More right. Yeah? Yeah. How, how do you figure that out? If you don't know, I ain't gonna tell you. Um, and don't. What do I care? Must be tough at that, not to have a mother and not to know who your father was. What are you talking about? I know who my father is. That's what you think. Say, you cut that out, or cousin or no cousin, I'll take a sock at you. You're not my cousin. You're not related to any of us. You're just an orphan. Well, you don't know what you're talking about. Don't I? Ask my mother. Ask your father. They'll tell you. You'll find out. Angelina, that's a good. <laughs> How is your papa? He's all right. Oh, you come just in time. Look. Gee, thanks, Angelina. <laughs> Angelina. Hmm? When did you come to cook for my father? Oh, long before you was born. Gosh, then. And you were there when I was born. Sure, sure. And you remember, huh? Well, we we no live here then. We live in Oakland. But you do remember when I was born, don't you, Angelique? Sure, sure. I remember. Madre mia, you're the most beautiful bambino we ever see. Just like a little angel. Oh. With fat little cheeks and curly black hair. Oh, go on. Your papa and mama love you so much. But Angelina, she loves you best. But Angelina, look, 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 look Peppa, he soon be home now and he want his dinner. You go away. No bother me no more now. Go away. Go away. Somebody, you want to put him in too soon? Let me do it. Hey, hello, Tony. Gee, it's nice to see you. Where you been? Oh, I've been around. Mr. Beppo. Can I ask you something? Go ahead, Tony. Shoot. Well, well stop working a minute, will you? Because this is awful important to me. Come on, go ahead. Just shoot the works. What I want to know is if, if a kid's born in an orphan home, how do you find out? Uh, well, well, you see, it's like this, Tony. I was uh, what you call uh, an orphan myself. And it was in Naples, Italy, and uh, my father, he...
a lot of baloney. Baloney nothing. You don't look like him, do you? At that, you're not so bad looking for a kid they got out of an orphan home. You take that back. Take it back or I'll punch you right in the nose. Why don't you try it? Here. See, why you fight like this? Rudolph, and here I was telling Uncle Carlo it was perfectly all right to leave you two alone. I'm ashamed. You don't know how much it hurts me to think I can't trust you. Ah, oh, he took the first punch. Why, Tony, you're all smeared with blood. Yeah, go wash your face. Go on. Come, Tony, dear. Keep your hands off me. What? Why? Tony! Oh, Carlo, don't get angry. Tony doesn't mean it, do you, dear? Why you no answer? When I tell you, Aunt Stella, you're sorry you say that. I won't. You do what I tell you. No. You don't do what I tell you? You and me is a finish. You wouldn't talk like that to me if... If? If? What do you mean, if? Could I talk to you alone, Dad? Kind of private-like? What's the matter? Why do you say that? What do you got to say to me? You can say in front of Aunt Stella. Uh... What's the use? I don't understand you, Tony. No, wait, Carlo. You're all excited. You'll only make things worse. I guess you're right. I'm all right, Mother. Come on, Julius. What do you do out to so late? I'm going away. Uh, why you go away? I don't understand. They don't want me no more. Who don't want you no more? My father. What? Never in my life I saw Papa love his boy as much as Carlo love you. He's not my father. What? He got me out of an orphan home. Oh, that's a crazy. Come on, we go home, huh? No, it's, it's true and you know that. I'm going away, Beppo. Sure, sure, sure. You go away. You go away with Angelina and me. You go with us to Eureka, all right? Huh? Well, uh, I'm not coming back. No, 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 come back. Come on. Sure, sure. In the morning, we all go. But now, Tony, you rest a while. You sleep, eh? We leave early in the morning. And I'm not coming back. That's the right. That's the right. Down, down. This is a terrible. I 
know he went to bed. I'm telling you, he tried to run away. Oh, over a bambino. Oh, the bastard. Rodolfo. Rodolfo. Come here. Wake up. You, what's the big idea? Say, why are you not telling me Tony didn't sleep in his bed tonight? How should I know he didn't sleep in his bed? Rudolph, dear. Still, this is a terrible. Why you want to run away? I tell you why, Carlo Roma. Because his papa not treat him right. Because his papa tell him he's finished with him. Because his papa tell him he's an orphan boy. No. I not tell him that. Stella, you tell him? I think yes, so she tell him. You mind your own business. Rodolfo. Hey, Rodolfo. You tell him? Huh? Answer me. You tell him? Well, what do you want me to say? Rudolph. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Ah, you make me sick. You said yourself you ought to know it. Oh! Bravo! <laughs> Bebo, come on, we'll go get Tony. Boy, it's a boy. I think I stick around a while, eh? Because you're gonna leave a poor early in the morning. So I'm gonna pack your bags and serve them on the left. Oh! <laughs> He's gone. Ma è dove andava? Non so. The Karenin is gone too. Tony, take. I don't let you go. Uh -huh. I know all about it, Tony, why you and Adolfo have those fights, but everything's gonna be all right. You're gonna go home with your pop, eh? You ain't my pop. Tony. It's true, ain't it? You got me out of an orphan place. That's right. I take you out from the orphanage home. But I think it's only the right thing you hear that from me someday. And not from no Aunt Stella, and not from no Rodolfo. I want to tell you something, Tony. When you, Mom and me, we first to get married, we want to have a little bambino. You know, <laughs> nice little baby boy. But when we get older, we... we don't got enough. We get a lonesome. Then we find you. How many, how many other kids were, were in that, that place? About 50. But why did you pick me? Because the minute we see you, we know right away we want you. Better than being born, ain't it? We, we picked you. Gee, if, if I had been born regularly, you'd, you'd had to take me. Even if you was just a little 
Eskimo baby or the wild man from the Borneos. And you... You're not sorry you picked me? Sorry? Not done. Hey. Before the school starts, you and me, we're gonna go out and catch the big fish, you know? Huh? Not little fish, but big fish, yeah? Huh? Just you and me? Just you and me, Tony. And Beppo. Oh, yeah, and Beppo. Say, you know Rodolfo's going back to Seattle with his mama, where they belong. Okay, Skipper, you take the wheel. If it's too much trouble, of course, I take the wheel. Huh? Say, who do you think you're getting? Well? We got any more uncles? Hey, <laughs> 